Good morning. It is officially Vlogmas day one. And you know what that means. It is the 1st of December. It is officially Christmas time. And what do we all need at Christmas time? Apart from peace, love and hope. Advent calendars. So that was me and the dog. We've both opened our advent calendars for today. That's it. Vlogmas and the 1st of December has officially started, which means I have nothing to do for a month. But it's all good. It's cool. So, yeah, I'm going to start off with, I'm going to wear that sweater today. Tell you that right now. That is the coziest sweater I've ever had. Pre-mark £8. They also have it in red. If you see me in a red sweater, just plain red. That's the same one. And we'll wear you today. Yes, you can't see, but I will. That's what I'm going to wear today, I think. Hopefully, my Geek Gear wearable edition comes today. Um, I'm really hoping it does, because bitch want her swears. So hopefully that'll come today. Uh, what else am I doing today? Christmas tree. Of course, it wouldn't be Vlogmas Day 1 if I didn't have a Christmas tree now, would it? Hopefully I have a Christmas tree. Hopefully it is at the back of the den. If it's not, I'm screwed. So, that's the plan for today. I'll see you in a second. Okay, so this is my outfit of the day. It is a sweater from Primark, leggings from Primark, and socks from Primark, because as you do, Hello and welcome to a typical Goodwin Saturday where mum said she was, mum and dad said they were going in for veg half an hour ago so I was like okay I'm just going to sit in the car and wait thinking it would only be 10 minutes it's been half an hour and I'm still here they've probably gone into B&M I bet you they've gone into B&M this is the thing, they go to Asda and then we go here also, on the Christmas tree front, I'm going to have to put up my parents' Christmas tree in my room because um, I don't think they can be asked to put up the big green one and mine's gone walkabouts. So, yeah, I'm going to have to put up the multicoloured one, which is fine, which is fine. just doesn't feel like my Christmas tree. It's just a Christmas tree, but anyway, so that is the plan at the moment. And I will talk to you guys when I am essentially home, hopefully at some point in the near future, hopefully. It's been ages since I've taken Bobby a walk myself. Um, just with uni and everything, like, cause my dad's been home. I just usually take him with my dad. There he is. Um, but yeah, so I'm taking him a walk just now and then I'll probably go back and do the Christmas tree. But my ankle is killing me. So not Tuesday there, but Tuesday before. I was in Glasgow recording. Um, our audio piece with Millie and uh, I went over my ankle like really badly and I thought it was fine and then um, it just didn't let up and it hasn't let up so it's still aching come on Bob, this way um, so it hasn't let up so <laughs> I'm still in a seen amount of pain whenever I like walk long distances so <laughs> yeah we'll see hopefully it's not as bad as it first was, but hopefully it'll get better. But yeah, so we're gonna go a little walk. The, the, it's a lovely day today, it's nice and cold, but God's sake. But yeah, he's just piddling away as he does. But yeah, oh, the beach is so lovely at this time. So even it's like this kind of weather, it's so lovely and it's so quiet. So because it's me, I changed my mind last minute and decided not to put up the Christmas tree, but I have an alternative. So I have put tinsel on my bed head. I still need to put that picture back up. And then over here is not Christmas at all. That's my parents' Christmas tree that I will give back to them. Um, I have this mini little Christmas tree that I got from a flat last year. Um, and that's a new, like big decoration, but I'm just going to use it as the angel on top of the tree. And it lights up and it's battery operated, so I thought we'll use that and then the tinsel because I realised that's my filming background, so I don't actually need it. 
And then I also have some tinsel in my wardrobe. But the piece de resistance is my parents' wreath that I doubt they're going to do anything with, so I might as well put it on my door. It's lit, bro! There you go. I'm now in the most Christmassy background you could ever think of. So this is where I will be filming tomorrow. My Christmas... It's a good question. What am I filming tomorrow? I'll tell you, I have it all written here. Uh, it is a festive book, Christmas book tag and on Friday it's the top 10 Christmas songs. See? Nice. So, Nick joined us as a married man. That happened. <laughs> it was so fast, but do you know something? For anyone that's friends of, of me or has been with this channel and Best Friends Pro XXX since the beginning, 2009, if you have, you're a true friend. Um, I have been in love with Nick Jonas since 2009. Let's not lie. Let's not just say it was a crush. It was full-blown love for the man. And um, yeah, so yeah, that happened. And then he got engaged and I wasn't bothered. Every time I remember back in 2012, right, he got he started dating Delta Goodrum and I was so upset. And then when he started dating Olivia, I was so upset as well. But I didn't even know he'd started dating Priyanka and it never bothered me. I wasn't really up to date with his life. And then um, he got engaged and I was like, the only thing I did was change. I'd been needing the excuse to change my Twitter username for ages and I was just wanted to change it. And I thought, Hamp's alter ego, change it to that. And um, it didn't bother me to change it. But I did thank him for, because he's been such a big part of my life. And I don't think he, he doesn't know that, obviously, because he's a celebrity and doesn't know who I am. But he has been a huge part of my life and he has helped me, well him and his brothers, but mainly Nick has helped me in so many ways um, for years now. So I'm so happy he's married. I'm so happy he's happy. Because like, when you follow someone's life for so long, you kind of get invested in a way that you never thought you would. And like, I just, I've been at this for nearly 10 years. And I've been so into like everything that's happened in his life and so invested in like when he had like when like I researched him when like I first fell in love with him. Um I researched everything and it was so interesting to see like his diabetes and where his family came from and where he came from and stuff and it's just really interesting. And obviously when the the Jonas Brothers broke up, I was heartbroken because I felt like I didn't have enough time with them. Um but I'm so proud of every single one of them. Kevin, Joe um, Nick, I'm so proud of everything they've done, everything they've came from. So, yeah, but I just think they're gonna, Nick and Priyanka are gonna make beautiful babies. So, they're, I'm so happy for them. And I'm so happy Joe's gonna get married to Sophie. Like, Joe's marrying an English woman. I'm very excited. Um, but yeah, no, I'm very, very excited. So, I think it's gonna be lovely 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 so i'm well excited but yeah so do you know what never give up on your dreams at all don't give up on your dreams i dreamed for years that i was gonna marry nick but do you know something i don't think me and nick would have been a good fit i'm not gonna lie i'm just not not into like his music as much and i don't think we're into the same kind of things so do you know what we wouldn't have worked out but do you know who might work out? Me and Tom Felton or me and Tom Hiddleston. I feel like me and Tom would get Hiddles. Hiddleston, let's go with Hiddles. We'd get on really well about Shakespeare because I'm a big buff. And then me and me and Felton would just get on well with like Harry Potter and Slytherin and just loving life. He just has this like, and dogs. That's what me and Felton would get on about is dogs. <laughs> but yeah, so never give up on your dreams. Speaking of dreams, I dreamed of a pizza this morning and you know what? It's currently 15.59 and the minute that goes 1600, I'm putting on my pizza. So I've got one minute, probably seconds now, till it goes 1600 and I can put on my pizza. So never give up on your dreams, kids. Never give up on them. That's your daily insight for Vlogmas Day 1. 
I'm back with my pizza, which is a thin and crispy as to create your own garlic base chicken, red onion, sweet corn, sliced mozzarella with garlic oil and milk. I'm buzzing. I don't know what I'm gonna watch on YouTube, but if we go into my subscriptions, I wonder what's there. Is there anything good? I don't see anything. Nope. I'll find something to watch. So I just got the sweetest video. I nearly cried. She's so cute. So um, since the start of this year, I've been talking to three people, Kira, Sam and Liz, and we are the Marauders 2.0 Beaches or Boats and Hose, whatever one you prefer. And um, yeah. So Sam was inspired by my scrapbooking video and has decided to start her own and uh, if I can inspire one person I will be quite happy. But yes, yeah, so that was really cute. So she sent me just the cutest video and it just made me be so happy. Also, can we talk about my pyjamas which are from um, ASOS. Um, I love my pyjamas, they're from ASOS. I said that, didn't I? <sighs> And I think it's literally like five o'clock and I'm losing my goddamn mind. It's like quarter past five and I'm losing my goddamn mind. I still have like, what, an hour and like 45 minutes till Strictly. Much excitement. I'm not going to do anything apart from put the Christmas music back on and sit and read fan fiction. What else am I going to do with my time? Okay. Do you know what's a pointless show? pointless it is so pointless i hate having to watch the, the final every time before strictly comes on it is a pointless show i don't know why i don't like it i just never have and it's always like celebrities who you don't know it's not like a a, a what you know quiz like a general knowledge like chase which is banging but do you know what this means? It's Strictly time, bitch. So excited for Strictly. Come on, Joe and Diane. Come on, Stacey and Kevin. Come on. So I just watched Strictly. It was amazing. Joe and Diane, Stacey and Kevin, my two that I love so much. Oh, they were great. Stacey made me cry with her, I Dreamed a Dream. And um, Joe was just amazing. He got lifted and it was amazing. So yes um obviously voting will have closed by the time you see this so by the time you see this it'll probably be around the time that the results come on so i hope fingers crossed i did vote for joe three times online and also i phoned 20 times <laughs> it's open till quarter two so you never know i might phone a bit more and um in 35 minutes uh millie is going to go live with um big screen little screen music box and I would show you that but I'm gonna edit this and go to bed and upload it overnight but what I'm going to do is I will be doing a time lapse of it next week because I'm gonna be on the show next week I'm so excited um I'm gonna be up there on radio next week so I can't wait to show you that um <laughs> but yeah so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna edit this vlog and um yeah so I'm going to leave it off here. I hope you enjoyed Vlogmas Day 1 and I can't wait to see you tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 2 because remember, I'll be vlogging every day up until Christmas. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye!